Hello, friends and lovers, it's Alien. We're back with more Wild Frost. Anyway, let's get going another run. Gotten on a streak here, a streak of one. I mean, one is still a streak, right? I kind of just want to try more than these are the gnome tribe, right? Well, they're called. Yeah, Lost Tribe of the Gnomes, Clunk Masters. So I kind of just want to, <laughs> I guess force would be the word. Honestly, when it comes to leaders, I kind of look at the, and I gravitate toward this one. I, I definitely lean heavy on snow, but seems like there's a lot still to discover here. Uh, so while active, add plus two attack to all junk in my hand. Hmm. Ah, still sipping my morning coffee. Let's see. So the theming here is kind of scrap, usually, to some degree or another. Scrap units and such. So you wouldn't want to use junk on Sneasel. I've realized that Sneasel is obviously very strong. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try hog headed here. I mean hog headed. I mean spike, I should say. Let's name it after Grampy. Grampy. He's a good boy, that grandpa. I don't think that's a cat, but let's go. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what happens, you know what I mean? Hmm. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. I definitely... I've started looking around at how other people are playing a little bit. <laughs> a little bit. And, like, I've, I look on the subreddit, I'm just like, holy cow. The amount of crazy stuff that they're able to get going on. It's nutty. Do, 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 do. No reason to play anything else that I can see. That's awkward. Hmm. That's pretty rough. The first battle, so it shouldn't be a big deal. I think the teeth charm is probably a bit intense uh, on the enemies here, personally. You can't silence it. You can't freeze it. There's no way to get rid of it. And especially in like a first battle like this, like, oh, like this could be truly devastating, you know? Looking at everything we got here. You're probably gonna have to attack the goblin. Don't really want to speed up anyone's turn here, huh? You're gonna have to hit a... You then silence it to try to buy more time to get more money from it, but eh. I don't know if that's super meaningful. Or anything is snowed. Being some blah blah blah. Hmm. I mean, we have a lot of health over here, so. I'm not very worried, I guess. I just want to finish the gobbling. I probably should. Not that money out of it, this this run. Okay. Alright, it doesn't really matter there. Okay. Did it bum bum bum. Okay, we got four on that, that's nice. How can I make good use of this, huh? Well, active add plus two attack to all your junk. How do you make good use out of that, exactly? I'm not really sure. I know that there's a companion that adds their attack to junk. So maybe that's the way to go, and you just get the junk to large amounts or something. Hmm. I think we might want to go double companion for that purpose, then. Skip the cave. Because we should have at least 80. Soon. Trash one when hit, add junk to your hand. When they get hit... Trash one, huh? Bombs are good. We know that much. Hmm. Let's... You know what? I'm kind of trying to go in a particular theme here, but I don't know if it's going to be any good. <laughs> Slap crackers. Bomb barrel. Apply for bomb. Hits all enemies. 
adds four junk to your hand. Okay. I think there's something crazy we can kind of do here, by the way, with that. But I think we need another crown. But I'm pretty sure there's something crazy we can do here. Okay. I won't spoil it. I won't spoil it. More trash. It's a lot of trash. <laughs> trash one hit. You generate trash. <laughs> oh no. I gotta find ways to spend it now, you know what I mean? We gotta find ways to spend it. Uh do I just still just want you? Crowned? Probably not. Not bad, but we go that way, right? I don't know. I'm a loose cannon, you know? Hmm. Grampy is an interesting one. Because there's no rush to play them. Apply one demonized Norathia Stoke gain plus two attack. Demonize a bit scary. I think we want to silence this. So that we don't get snowed. Take four. Do we let Grampy take the four? Guess so. Kind of works out in terms of numbers here. Okay. Do 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 do. Do do do. Now that junk's gonna clog up our deck uh, very, very, very quickly. That's very scary. No doubt about that. Apply four bomb to all. Hmm. <laughs> Do I actually want to make more trash? Not really. Let Grampy get the demonized last hit. Last hit on Grampy, I guess, is what I'm thinking. Let's see, you hit for five. Is that what I want to do? Probably this. I wonder, is there something that makes junk? It would be crazy if there was a character that made junk uh, all have Noomlin. I don't think that exists, <laughs> but it would be crazy, you know? Okay, I guess I don't want to generate more trash if possible here. Uh, I'm just playing this as a way to get a little bit of money out of them. Trying to earn a lot of money in this game is potentially one of the biggest brain things you can do, I feel, because if you combo kill enemies, like kill multiple enemies in one turn, then you get a lot more money. But that's hard to arrange, you know? Let's see here. So we'll, we should get a two times combo here. You get a little bit more for that. So you'd want to weaken enemies as such, then. Hmm. I don't think we need to play the Junkhead. Yeah, that's probably a good thing to ink, huh? Not in a big rush, though. Probably need more recycle cards. Hmm. We got we want to try to kill everything, so. I probably don't need to think as hard as I am, but it does mean I'll make more mistakes this way, of course. You're gonna hit four three, but that means nothing really. We have a pretty big health pool. Interestingly, you have no bomb on you. Just to generate a lot more trash for fun. 
Okay. Looking interesting. They're definitely set up in a certain way. Is it a good way? Mmm. Yeah. Let's see. So we kind of don't want more companions. Grampy might have to get replaced, kind of, if we do get one that does a lot for us. But in the meantime, I think we definitely go up. We will be trying to go for the true ending every time, I think, right now. Unless I say otherwise, I guess. Boost effects of five and gain consume. Ooh. Ooh, wow. Wait a minute. That means it'll generate nine trash. <laughs> oh my god. So I had a pl I have a plan. You got you're just gonna have to wait and hear me out though. I do have a plan though. It's kinda uh okay, so hmm. Is it good though? It might be good. Bosses have multiple phases, so applying all the bomb at the start of the fight, which is sort of what I'm thinking, isn't always a good idea, right? Hmm. No, Zuka wouldn't be terrible. Uh... Ink? Probably... Uh, I don't know if I'd want to do the ink. You definitely wouldn't do that. This sounds stupid, but I'm doing it. I guess you just, yeah, you don't just, you just don't crown it and play it. But I had a, I had a kooky plan. Maybe I can show it soon. Ooh, wait a minute. Palm bomb. With the bomb at the start. Palm bomb plus this thing, right? Hmm. I don't want to generate more trash. I want to use more trash. This is just like a, a pretty big dead draw a lot of the times, though. I feel oh, Bink works with a uh, bomb. It hits everything, and it doesn't require that they're undamaged. I think Bink is quite strong here. Overall. Hmm. All right. <sighs> Destroy a card in your hand, Numlin. I like that. But we can't afford it and the crown. Crash 2 with the Proto Stomper. Okay, we're probably going to have to say no more trash generation. Okay, so I guess I don't want to crown this. But there, were, there's this crazy thing I saw where if you generate junk... Uh, if you generate junk... Can I do it for the next battle? Okay, maybe not the next battle, but... Maybe not the, the boss fight that's coming, but soon. I can show you. If you generate junk in your hand and you keep something with crown in it on, you know, the, your pre-turn, your crown turn, basically, you can actually use the junk. Would that be okay for this boss battle? Don't know. I'm worried I'm going to row if I try to do this. You know what I mean? Let's see. You play you. Keep you in hand. It might be a, a bug, technically. It may be a bug, technically. I don't know. Let's find out together, shall we? Okay. So we have to play wood bag to get make the junk deal damage, but actually that's not even that big of a deal when you think about it. But I guess it helps. There's all the bomb. Gavin's still in hand. One. <laughs> oh my god, it's working. Alright. Okay. Now we don't have any bomb on the boss anymore, sadly. We have eight damage. Which one do you try to kill? Feels sick, huh? Hope that we draw Junkhead, I guess? This is the only problem, is the multiple phases, right? Okay, we should be fine. 
I'm not very worried. So it's okay for them to get frozen. It doesn't matter, right? Well, that was an interesting fight. The thing is, that's not the optimal way to play it, right? Because... Five... Yo, yeah, this is good. Because now we kill fewer enemies. You even get things like... Uh... Oh, right, they have wild. Goblins can appear. You know, we're losing out killing all these little enemies, essentially. You know what I mean? But who cares? This is fun, right? You're hitting for six. I'll try to kill some of them. Mac back. Bum, bum. Well, that sounds pretty good. Nothing has bomb. I can't give anything any bomb right now. Bum, 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 bum. You're going to hit for six times two. Oh, uh, it's awkward with that snow bow, isn't it? I don't have a way to kill that. I can freeze it, which I guess I will. Just because it's awkward for this to take the snow bow damage for one there. Hmm. So we definitely got an interesting combo in our hands. <laughs> That's fine. One and two, yeah. So you're dead to the teeth. Hmm. Four and six, that's fine. We still got more enemies about to come in about to come in. I think we'll be okay though. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm trying to wait for I thought you pretty much always get a gobbling, no? Guess not. Well damage increased by blah blah blah, it's fine. You're dead to the teeth. Probably should have played Fulby a little sooner. Oops. Roll it. Oh. <laughs> All right, game. Okay. I think they're trying to tell me I may have made a mistake. Uh... No surprise gobbling or anything here. Doesn't look it. Okay. Send them back then. Hey, it was a quick fight at least, huh? All right. I wonder if we did the math out. You generate nine trash. Uh, how much junk would I have had to spend? Hmm. I was trying to think, how much junk would I have to spend to get to get phase one of the... Oh, wait, no, but you have to play the bomb card first. Never mind. Okay, it doesn't matter. Um, It's still... I, I feel like it's just always card draw, but... What do, you, what do you guys think when it comes to that? Card draw or the bell, at least. Have to go this way. No choice. Okay... Well, active add equal attack to all junk in my hand. Oh, right. Here we go. So Micah kind of has anti-synergy with us. But now this junk's going to hit harder. Right? So... I don't think we need someone else to tank hits. And you got to buy a crown for them now. That's certain. Add times one frenzy. Apply four bomb. Could be used offensively or defensively. Now that is interesting. Did we get like the ultimate combo here now? Uh. Crowning the bink would be a good idea eventually. We need to be able to keep something. Uh, a leader. Not a leader. A companion crown though. In, in our starting hand. I kind of like the grabber for the final fight, right? It kind of works if we have bomb, too. If we saw a bomb on enemies, right? So it's not bad. At times one's frenzy, apply for bomb. Hmm. 
I don't think we'd want to use it on any of our own, really. We need to find ways to boost the attack of this guy now, right? If we can find some charms to do that. I assume it works with spice and stuff, huh? Does that take priority looking for that over buying this? I think we buy that. It's discounted too, so it's just very good right now. All right. Here we go again. So you have to go down. You should go down. Then we play this. Or damage junk. Wait, what happens now? Wait, that was our turn? <laughs> oh, that's weird how that works, huh? Four damage junk is actually pretty decent, at least. <laughs> pretty decent. Uh. Oh, we can vase. Wood bag. Right? Hmm. You could. I'm thinking of just uh, redrawing here. Hmm. You hit for two. Do 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 do. Seven. Huh. Kind of awkward. I don't know. Maybe it's not worth redrawing. We deal quite a bit. Five and four, so maybe it should be more like this. Okay, now you kill that. Guess we just kill the gobbling vanilla, right? You're gonna you're gonna hit quite hard. Maybe I'll redraw and freeze this or something now. Hmm. Oh, I could silence that next turn. Potentially. Can't really let it hit. Still hits for two if I do that, but... Boss is already here, huh? Still hits for two. Two and five, yeah. Okay. Always at one health, huh? Hmm. Olgo's gonna hit for five. Oh, this is this is awkward, huh? Five and two. Someone's gonna have to take it. And it can't be Grampy. You're gonna swing in for four somewhere. I guess I gotta work on this guy up here before it gives off too much shell. Oh. Okay, that this thing still dies because you're dealing four. Yeah. Try ahead of time. There's the Noomlin yank. Hmm. How do we want to do this? We might want to bink soon, but it kind of doesn't matter if we do it now. Maybe next turn's the bink. Kill this. That way you only deal two again. You won't generate more damage this way. You can go ahead and hit Grampy. That's fine. Is that worth more than just hitting with a piece of junk? I wonder. That's kind of a good question, huh? Is, is hitting for four damage just worth more than that? Hmm. Especially so late in it. It's tough to know, huh? Someone gonna die here? 
think someone has to die. In they don't have to die yet. Redraw. We need to get some freeze. I'm just trying to make sure there's nothing I'm missing that's gonna cause a problem here. Okay, that should be enough time. Kind of close, though, huh? No, do do. Okay. Double traveler? Don't really want to do that, right? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't think so. The biscuit is in. When destroyed, apply one haze to the attacker. Hmm. The biscuit, it's actually not as good. Since we are going to be playing a lot of junk. Which also gets generated over time. Hmm. The biscuit is tough, I think. It's, w it's weird that that's not a great take. But because our deck is going to be so massive... Well, yeah, it's going to be massive, so it's just going to be hard to find a good way to play it. I think the Balloon's fine here. Even the Berry Blade's not terrible, but yeah, it's not great either. Okay. Show me something a little better here, would you? Apply one Haze... Recycle two junk in my hand. I think I like that a lot. I could even, yeah. Okay. More haze. Interesting. I've never even seen that card. Okay, this is getting interesting then. I think we just keep our current combo going here. So you, you get played, you get played. The boomsies. probably look at them real quick yeah this is always an annoying super annoying setup too I'm glad we're able to essentially skip it just redraw now definitely while we wait for some enemies to show <coughs> huh Double Papa. This one has plus attack. Fascinating, huh? I only have one junk in hand, which is a miracle. <laughs> hmm. So let's see. Hits for five, hits for two. seven finish it with a piece of junk kind of looks that way get grampy for one he doesn't count as a hit so it won't generate and then I can finish that with junk too right I can't stop them from escaping Killing versus whacking is the same. Well, actually, no. Killing might have been better. Do you get more gold from that? You might. Uh-oh. Huh. Why don't you finish the paw paw? Hmm. How does this... Oh, wait, I can't play it. Doesn't matter. Oh, active at aimless? Oh. Okay. Try to get rid of that, I guess. Put the balloon down down here. For the Maw Jaw turn. Get it out of the deck too, right? Ugh, they both hit that. Redraw now. Oh wait, I could have played the Haze Balloon! Mistake. Mistake. 
Not the haze balloon, whatever it was, you know? Let's silence that trigger when hit. It's weird that this is different from smack back a little bit. So it's when anything hits it, I'm guessing. Right? Is that the idea? So it's like worse than smack back? I think that's the idea. Hmm. Just silence them, so I guess I should wait on that. Get the junk head out of our hand. Don't really want to yank that. Haze balloon goes here. And Grampy gets hit, that's fine. Five and two to kill that. Okay. Now it's hazed. I don't know, like, so trigger when hit, right? But how's that gonna work now? Are we gonna be able to trigger it here? Don't know. Shall we find out? Oh, it did work. Fascinating. I thought that's what it would do. So it's not quite smack back, right? I think we really want to play that snow right now so we don't get in ourselves into any more trouble. Okay, da oh god. <laughs> uh, let's just take you out of here, huh? This is actually going to be kind of tough. Because now it's no longer frozen. I have to redraw, really. I can't do anything to it. Oh. Let's see. How does this work now? Because it triggers when hit, huh? It's just going to hit the junkhead, right? I think that's the idea. Oh. Oh. I deal four. Hits the junkhead. Deal four. Kills the junkhead. Puts it at four. Gavin kills. Okay. Oh, but it might get a turn. It will get a turn. If I hit it, it kills the junkhead. Right? Hmm. I've never had so much trouble with this enemy, honestly. Hit it for four. It kills the junkhead. It takes its turn. Hits for five. Yeah, we're fine, right? I'm not missing anything, correct? Or hope not. Okay. Ooh, a little close, huh? I mean, our combo's working. I'm, I'm, you can't see it, but I'm doing air quotes right now. <laughs> oh man, we got the, we got the sculptor. I think you just, you duplicate this, right? I think you do. I think you do. I think you do. I mean, adding junk to the hand from the traveler is actually fine, and if not great, possibly even. Well, not, it's definitely not great. It's fine. What are we crowning, I guess? What what can help this? Hmm. Good question. I don't know which boss we're getting. I can never seem to remember. What would we want to use? Would we want to use something like the Haze Keg? On the boss, potentially. But only potentially. The Bink is actually quite good, I think. Could potentially play on turn one. It kind of depends on the boss though, right? I think it might be worth it, even. I think it might be. Well, either way, I think I've decided to go up here. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Let's do it. It's goof. It's a goof. You don't want to play it twice, though, right? Do you? 
Do you, though? So if we kill all the enemies... Hmm... Apply one haze. Aimless. Consume. So we have to buy that. Scrappy pile. On the haze balloon. It's only when it's destroyed. It's not... It's pretty good to soak those hits, right? We take the crown. I really want to get some more attack on this guy, right? Oh, we could vase something, right? Wait, we could vase the bomb barrel. Yo! Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> um. Or you vase wood bag. And that way the junk deals six damage a pop. Well, I don't know, like, what's the, what's the hand size limit exactly here? I don't know if we need the scrap pile that much. I'm kind of hoping we don't. Foggy Brew's okay. Reed Charm doesn't do much. Don't do much for us, I think. Oh, wait. Would it work on this guy? Kind of feel like it doesn't, but we'll see. I'm not going to play around it that much, I think, here. Because we really just want some straight-up attack boosts. Doomlin. <clears throat> Perhaps on the bank. Hmm. Either the bank or the snow zooka, I kind of think here. Weird that Numlin is actually not as powerful as it could be sometimes. Even the Sunsong box? Hmm. Right. <coughs> I should always Sunsong box Tinkerson. Shouldn't I? Maybe that's wise. Maybe that's the way we go here. I don't know. That's tough. I mean, this is all enemies. I think this just gets played so often. Do we buy another charm? I will. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, no. When destroyed, deal 8 damage to enemies in the row. Give it a haze balloon, right? I mean, maybe you could hold it, but I doubt it's going to be that meaningful either way, right? Alright. Well, I think we look pretty juicy. The question is, what do we do here? I guess let's look at the boss, right? We could vase the barrel. Or we could vase wood bag. Wood bag is probably the more sane idea. Oh, it's truffle? It's truffle. Okay. All right. <laughs> it's truffle. And they actually keep some of the bombs and stuff, right? So we know we do that. So it'll apply 18 bomb. I'll get 18 trash. I don't think I actually get 18 trash. Versus getting 9. That deals 6 damage each, right? Hmm. I don't know. So what happens to my hand here, exactly? I... Wait, there's no limit? There's no limit! Do I even get rid of the ads? I think I do. I, I assumed there was a hand size limit. Do we win? I think we won. Oh yeah, we won quite easily, huh? Alright. I don't think that's intended. What do y'all think? <laughs> what do y'all think? Oh god, I'm dying. Do you think that's intended in some way? I was wondering, like, what happens if you draw cards when you uh, crown? It turns out the subreddit answered it for me. We definitely go to the Charm Merchant, I think, here. Try to get some more damage on that. 
So the fact that there is no limit to my hand, is, so it seems at least, probably means that we do vase the bomb barrel a lot of a lot of the times at least. Bite box when hit, deal damage equal to the attacker. It's actually quite good. The triple three here, I mean, that gives you one. <laughs> Yank, demonize. Ugh. Bite box is okay. I'm kind of okay with bite box. It even has a uh, that charm on it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Ink some hits, right? Hmm. Okay. I think I want it. I don't think I love these. Demonize. Wait a minute. Can you demonize the bomb barrel? Maybe. Is that even that good, though, when you think about it? Also, maybe. Oh, my God. <laughs> but the demonize will also get doubled, right? I think I still like the bite box enough to buy it. Okay, let's go. Okay. Okay, a bit overkill for turn one. I think we vase... Woodbag, then, for that purpose, right? Hmm. What do you think? I think you do. For the longer term. Everything dies here. Get the combos, right? Play you. Play you for the free turn. Seemingly free turn. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Little worried about these things. Eh, I don't know if I should be that worried. No one has teeth or anything right now that'll kill these back. Not certain how worried I should be quite yet. Alright, these two... will kill these two, right? Um... Did I just kill the goblin? Let's try to get a little bit more money out of it, huh? Okay. Okay, that's scary. Uh-oh. No. Okay, we're okay. That was incredibly close to guaranteed death. Because Woodbag was gonna attack. I wish I had thought a little bit harder about it. It was incredibly close to guaranteed death. Okay. <laughs> we're okay, though. Woo! <clears throat> so we have to snow it. Because you're going to attack it either way, right? There's no other way around that, as far as I can tell. Uh, Haze Balloon. Explodes for eight. And that way it kills the Goblin. It's mostly for the explosion here, I think. Or do I just play the Bomb Barrel? No, the Bomb Barrel doesn't really do a whole lot at the moment. It's not like you can play the junk for free. This thing's gonna smack back again, isn't it? You get the draw? No. Okay, well, okay, the boss is out. The boss is out, so we're fine. Oh my god. This was like... This was scary. <laughs> this was very scary. Alright, I have no junk in hand. It's actually kind of scary to play Grampy to try to... Because if Grampy kills these things, uh, I don't know, we might be in a bit of trouble. Oh, is it a good time to play the barrel, probably? Yeah. Yeah. 
I think so. Can't even see my hand properly. One hit there. Am I okay with... Huh. Killing these with Grampy. Huh. If I do that, you take three in the bottom. That guy's gonna hit us next turn for several thousand. Okay, that sounds a bit scary to me. Yeah, I guess I don't want to kill them like that. Don't let the Junkhead go, I guess. Why do you have times three? Because you've been around for so long? Oh, maybe just kill this thing now. Or kill it next turn, either way, right? Okay, so then maybe we do play Gramps. Get two kills up top. Grampy only takes two. The boss is going to attack next turn, though. I can redraw. If I kill... Huh. And if I kill that next turn, boss is going to have three times three, which the Junkhead can all soak as far as I can tell, right? Or is it three times four? Either way, not that scary. Three times three. Okay. We gotta kill that. I could draw, but I don't know if that's even a big deal. Seems like we might as well kill it. Okay, so you're gonna hit them for three. Guess you can make it Gramps. Ugh! Some tight fights despite the crazy brokenness here, huh? Oh, it's dead. Yay. <laughs> Okay. I didn't do it with the math, as you can see. Muncher, huh? So the gear hammers are totally useless. Completely useless cards. That is true. Unfortunately, no shop. We could get a charm. That could be fruitful. Namely, for Tinkerson, would probably be the big thing. Noom Traveler could be quite good. It will add junk to our deck. But yeah, these are just 100% dead draws. So I think it's probably worth our while to ditch those, huh? We probably want to crown the bink instead of the the vase for the final boss. Yeah. You play the bomb barrel, then you play the bink. Think. Then you start whacking away. Is there a way to do this? Huh. I'm thinking. So I could decrown Scav Scaven. Scaven. Or something like that, right? Crown the bank instead, because we're not going to get another crown. It means I can't play one of these two. If we do that. I'm thinking about the final battle a, a bit ahead of time here. Go this way. Okay. Add times one frenzy and gain consume. That could be... Good, I'm thinking... So it's actually pretty good on the vase, just so we don't redraw the vase. I mean, the, the frenzy doesn't do anything. It just makes it so it gets consumed, right? There's like the snow zooka. There's... Haze keg, which is a bit awkward, probably. But not terrible. Because I just might not draw the junk that we need to play it. I don't know, when something like this is frenzied, but you only have, like, two junk in your hand, how does that work? I don't know. 
Yeah, I think we just throw it on the vase. It's just easy. This way it's out of the... We won't redraw it, I guess. Maybe that's... Too silly, I don't know. Okay. I don't think there's anything we want to change for this fight. Let's take a look at the comp here. Oh, it's a Frost Guardian because I got a, the true ending last time. Last time we played. All right. I think we got this fight. I think. So, how do I want to do this? Do I want to give junk more damage? Hmm. Or do I just want more trash right away? Applies one demonize also now. Keep in mind. Applies two demonize if I evase it. My heart tells me this is the right way to go. Okay then. One. Do I just start whacking the boss now? Oh yeah, I guess I did that wrong. Because I should have made the boss spawn. This boss spawn. And now I can start... I shouldn't have killed that first enemy, essentially. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Well, this is good. One. Two. Three. Too bad the bomb doesn't really work there, huh? We almost got a turn one kill. If I had been able to half his health one more time, maybe. I am in a bit of danger, though. I believe we are no longer in danger. Turn two kill. <laughs> wait, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, God, wait, hold it. Okay, hold on. For some reason, I thought that was like a much bigger number. Still fine, though. <laughs> well, that was interesting. Okay, so how do we want to... This is... This requires a bit more thought, probably. I still actually feel like we vase this. Because it's so much more bomb. You get so much more trash on turn one. We can kill multiple enemies. I think that's the case. So I could not crown one of these, right? One of these guys in order to play the bink. Now, does the bink even do that much here? It does a deal 18 to all. 18 to all versus two extra damage on 18 trash. 18 to all. Eighteen to all. And silence. I mean, it's hard to put a price on the silence, right? Eighteen to all versus two extra day. I mean, that's obviously more than. All right, then I guess I keep it. Hopefully, we draw that quickly, right? I think we're okay. What do you think? My quickest run ever, probably. Still not that quick though. <laughs> Okay, so same deal as before. Okay, do I actually need to think about placement, or do you think we're good? Seven health. You have barrage, you have aimless, so I guess you'd want to do that. Try to protect the hero in case that matters. <gasps> Rest in pepperonis, I think. I messed up. No, I was thinking about the placement. I blew it. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe we can still win the fair way, right? Maybe it still works. I don't think so, though. But I think our turn kind of just ends. They have demon eyes. Yeah, now we're actually taking turns. Maybe. 
How's that? How does demonize work with bomb? I wonder. I'm not sure. We might be able to still do this. Okay, maybe. I can kill this thing. You're going to hit for four. That's fine. Is there a big reason to redraw here? Yeah, the bank, I guess. There's the bank. Okay. I see no reason not to play it. Oh my god. Despite my throw. Despite my throw. We survive. <laughs> I was so focused. Still our our quickest win ever, huh? Wow, look at that. That was insanity. I can't believe like I had I was we were so good. <laughs> Thank God we did it, huh? Thank God we still did it. So I mean I guess that goes to show we didn't have to cheese it that much. Cause it, it was probably a turn one win if we uh, had actually fully cheesed it, right? All right, well, that was a goofy run. I'm really happy that we were able to get that in the footage and everything. Pretty insane, uh, as we could see. Happy to play. Happy to play more of the game. Please like, come subscribe. You guys know the deal. If you want to see more of the game, if you got wonky build ideas, I'm open to it. Let me know in the comments. And I will see you all. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me show you the stats in case you care. Flings from combos, 265. New pet unlocked, actually. Let's, show, let's do that real quick, huh? Bomb applied 434. Little Ghazi. While active, add plus one attack to all allies. 344. That's not bad. I don't hate it. I think the only thing I have left are the achievements here for charms. And I definitely got a lot. All right. But now this time, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, everyone.